Hi, I'm Pablo Osblanco and welcome back to Trungle Park. Today we've got a clash towards the top of the Western Premier League and it's set to be a cracker as Mals will take on Barnstable Town in a fourth versus fifth clash. Barnstable will be looking to get a statement win today as they've played the same amount of games as Mals and have one point more than them. Mals will have been in good form though and haven't lost in the league since August and that good form has included a, a recent 2-0 away win to Falmouth Town on Wednesday night. So Jay Cash's side here with a lot to play for and this will be a big one. Ahead of kickoff, I spoke to new Malzor signing Adel Gaffeti to get his thoughts ahead of what would be his second debut for the club. Adel, welcome back. How are you feeling? Feeling great. It's good to be back in, um, in Cornwall, good to be back in Malzor and game day today, so looking forward to it. And then with the manager, Jay Cash, have you spoken to him since you've arrived and what has he said to you? Uh, I've spoken to him over the summer actually, around five, six times. And uh, you know, he told me that he wanted me at the club. He wanted me to come and help the um, club go forward and get promoted. And I'm here today, so I'm going to do my best to, to achieve that. Definitely. And on promotion, we've seen other teams are trying to push forward this season. Is that the goal now for you coming here? Is that really the aim that you want to help the team strive towards? Clearly. Clearly, that is the goal. Like, we definitely need to get wins every time we play at home. And, you know, we got to get points every, every game. And that's the only, that's the only thing we got to do to, to achieve that goal. Despite not creating many first half chances, Malzor found themselves a goal up at the break through a Hayden Turner screamer. It's half time here at Trungle Park and Malzor lead Barnstable Town by one goal to nil. It was a late Hayden Turner screamer at the, the brink of half time really. Malzor have controlled proceedings, they've played good football but haven't actually created too much. In fact, Barnstable themselves have probably had the best opportunities in the second half and attacking this goal, Malzor want to increase their advantage and get a big three points. Malzor were unable to extend their advantage in the second half and instead led Barnstable back in, with both sides leading with one point each in a highly contested clash towards the top of the Western Premier League. It ends here at Trungle Park, all square. It's Malzor 1, Barnstable Town 1. Malzor let uh, Barnstable back in the second half there and an early goal actually that Barnstable got was a screamer in the second half, much like Malzor's in the first. Jay Cash were disappointed his side had good chances, especially towards the end of the game, but didn't capitalise and in that second half they did let Barnstable in. Barnstable did also create good chances themselves. They hit the post in the second half and, and could have had more. So the points are shared here. It ends 1-1. Paolo, 1-1 in the end, only one point. Disappointed that it wasn't three. Yeah, absolutely disappointed. The way we played, the aggression we put into the game as well and the chances we had, it should have been a 3-1 three, three game. We considered that low goal, but despite that, should have still had the opportunities to score, so extremely disappointed, yep. What are you most disappointed with today? Is it the team, you know, disappointed in the final third with there too many chances that, that were missed, or was it defensively, you know, not tight enough to, to, to let them back into the game there? What, you know, what went wrong? I think, it, look, if we lose, it's, uh, everyone has to, do, to be accountable for that. I think we had our chances, you know, to score. Definitely disappointed in that perspective as well, but we should have never considered that goal as well. We had the game in the plate and he took it away from us, so extremely disappointed, yeah. Jake won all. It was always going to be a difficult game, fourth versus fifth, but letting Barnstable back in their second half. Is it that frustrating, you know, more than two points drop really there? Yeah, frustrating goal. Really disappointed with the goal. And it's, listen, it's a screamer in the top corner, but it's the bits before that that's the, that's the frustration. Um, you know, we really pride ourselves on, on not giving people those opportunities. And I thought we defended their threat, the long throws, the corners, we defended them really, really well, and then just gave the ball away and then didn't do enough to stop the next phase. And so, yeah, really, really frustrating. It, it, it's a great strike, but so, you know, so was ours. And maybe, maybe, maybe a point was about right, but I just felt it, it, we didn't maybe make the right decisions at certain times and when we could play forward and when, and when we couldn't. And, um, and, and, you know, that said, we got in some great positions and, and you think we're going to win it right at the end there. It's a great save from the keeper. Um, but yeah, frustrate, frustration, probably the overriding feeling, but they're a good side. Uh, they're really well organised and, and they've got a, a, a plan. Um, so they're always difficult to play against teams like that. You know, that's, that's, that's proper. That's proper. That's a proper game. So uh, frustrating, but but not 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 the end of the world. 
Was today a case of getting in those positions and then not making the right decisions once you got to the final third, or was it more defensively letting slip? What was it today? Uh, yeah, the final, final third we got in some great positions. Um, you know, I think we could have potentially killed the game off first 15-20, I thought we started really bright. Um, and, and didn't kill it off, but we, we said that will happen. It happens at this level, you miss chances. So if we can be solid at the other end and, and not concede, then if you're not great in the final third and it isn't always going to be great, you still get the win. So disappointed that, that we couldn't do that. But, but yeah, you know, it's not just that end. It's, it's getting in those areas and then being really clinical. And, and it just wasn't, wasn't, quite, wasn't quite that today. Back defensively, Adel Gafeti making his second debut for the club today. How pleased were you with his performance? He did win man of the match today, so how good was it to have his presence at the back? Yeah, great. Um, in truth, he wasn't meant to start. Uh, Mark, Mark was feeling his groin a bit from Wednesday, um, so so he came in short notice, but he's a good player. You can see it straight away. You know, He's going he's gonna to be a massive addition for us. I thought he was going to win it at the end with his header, um, but I thought he defended really well, and he's had, a, he's had a busy couple of days, so to find the energy to, to he'll sleep well tonight, to find the energy to, to put in a really solid night for nine minutes is really pleasing. I thought him and Max um, as a pair were, were outstanding today, um, dealt with their threat really well. Um, so, so that, yeah, that bodes well. Thanks, Jake.